Okay, so now let's take a look at the question number two. So in question number two, we need to use the formula for each of the columns. So the first, it says that the first digit and place this in the transmitted check digit column. So we need to extract the first digit. So only the first one, and we have to put this in the column called as transmitted check digit. Okay. So where is the transmitted check digit? So this is the transmitted check digit, and we need the first one. So the first one we get from here. Okay. So the left of A5, comma 1. So A5, equal left of A5, comma 1. And we give multiply by 1 to make it an integer value. So, we get this 8. Okay. So, the transmitted check digit, we use the function called as equal left a5 comma 1 and multiply by 1. So, it's just after that you can drag and copy to get the other uh, So it's up to this one. Okay, so it is it will we have to put the formula here equal left a five comma one comma one and multiply by one. So it's not here. Then we again drag Okay, so the first one is done. Just remember we have to use this function of left. Okay, so let's take a look at the second one. The next six digits and display this as the bank short code. Okay, so we for example the, this will be the short code, but we have to use this format. So we need to give a dash between two numbers okay so between every two number we have to give this two dash so we have to use a specific format so let's go to the bank short code so where is the bank short code so this is the bank short code <coughs> so this is the bank short code so we have to use this one for the bank short code we have to first okay mid so we start from mid a5 comma 2 comma 2 so we need to extract the first two that is we start from 2n we need only two digits or two letters so we, that's why we give 2 comma 2 n is to join the two different words okay so which is we use for the string function or concatenation we can use ampersand and we give the dash between the double codes because we have to insert a dash between two numbers and after that again we give an ampersand to, to join the next two numbers. So the next two number it starts from 4 and again since we need two numbers so we give comma 2. Similarly we can again give an ampersand and a dash then again we use the function meet start from 6 and how many do we need? We need only two numbers. So we have to use this. Okay, so I can just copy, I will copy it and I would like to put it yes. I would like to put it here and put it here and then we will control C. Put it here so you can see here equal meet a5 comma 2 comma 2 and then 
we have to use this code. So after that, you can drag and copy. So the, this is the format for the bank shot code. Okay, so this is done. Now take a look at the next part. The next nine digits and display this as a nine digit account number. So if you want again from the next nine digits, so we need to count the number. So that is the first one, six, seven. So it will start from eight. So eight onwards, we need nine digits as the account number. So let's go to the account number. So this is the account number. We start from the eight and then we need nine. So this is the function equal meet A5 comma 8 comma 9 so control C then we go to the account number control B and then we can just drag and copy so we use this function equal Meet a five eight comma nine. Then the next eight digits. The next eight digits and display in the date digit column. So now we are going to extract the next eight digits and we start. We put it in the date digit column. So let's go to the date digit column now. So this is the date digit column. So what we did again we have to extract so we start from 17 and we need 8 so I will just copy this and paste over there so this is what you need to do equal meet a5 we start from at 17 and we need 8 digits so just paste this again drag and copy so this is for the date digit so once the date digit is done we will do the next one the next one is the the next character and display this in the transaction column so transaction column when let's go to the transaction column and in need to extract the next character so this is the character C and D and we will go to the transaction so this is the transaction column this is the transaction column and we need to extract the letter C or D okay so we go to transaction so we have to use this function meet a5 comma 25 comma 1 so if we just use this function we can extract the c or d so meet a5 comma 25 comma 1 will give us the transaction type which is credit or debit okay so Okay, so we have to paste it here. Okay, so we are done with this one. Now let's take a look at the next one. So any other digits, place this in the working to column. So any other digits, so after this, C or D, whatever digits are there, we need to place in the working to column. So after this, whatever is there, we put in the working to column. So the working to column, this is a 
this is the working two column so we have to use the function so right we use the right and it starts from a a5 is the name of the cell then we need to calculate the length and from there we just minus 25 because we have already used the first 25 digits or the characters or the numbers we have already used and we need the remaining ones so in order to get the remaining one after 25 we have to first calculate the length of a5 because all the cells they have different size so this is different this is different so we are not sure that's why we need to calculate the length so we calculate the total length from here and then we minus 25 because this 25 is already used so let's copy this control c and we go to our spreadsheet here in the working the working tool and then paste it so this is what it is so just remember we this is this means the total length and then we minus the first 25 letter or the numbers and then we okay so this is done now let's go to the next okay so question number two is done so let's stop and take a look first actually so let's summarize so what we did here first we calculated the transmitted check digit then we did the bank short code then we did the account number the date digit and we also did the transaction and the working too okay so you can don't forget to save so save it always and then let's go back 